Danger. Hundreds of dramatic behind-the-scenes adventures are all part of the Clyde Beatty story. Here is the story of Jungle Medico. On one of our trips to the Dark Continent, Harriet and I visited French Equatorial Africa, that vast, mysterious jungle country lying just above the Belgian Congo. When we arrived at Brazzaville, we went directly to the home of a man named Lacroix, a Frenchman who had spent the better part of his life in the jungles of Western Africa. Please be seated, won't you? Thank you. I was not expecting visitors. Uh, I hope you will pardon my appearance. That's quite all right, Mr. Lacroix. Oh, please, you must uh, call me Jean. All right. We don't believe in formality either, Jean. Uh, Jean. <laughs> oh, please to call me Jean. It is easier for you. Okay. Now, uh, what is it you wish to see me about? We just arrived here, and the man who acted as our guide in Nairobi told us about you. Uh, Stuart was his name. Ah, yes, yes. And how is Stuart? It has been years since I have seen him. Oh, he's fine. Said to be sure and give you his best. He also said you were the best guide in this part of Africa. Oh, I am flattered. But uh, I hope uh, that is not what you have in mind, engaging me as a guide, I mean. Well, as a matter of fact, it is. Why? Oh, I am no longer active in hunting wild animals, uh, I am afraid. <laughs> you see, I... I retired over a year ago. Oh, but we're not after animals, Jean. We got all the animals we wanted in Rhodesia. But I do not understand. What is it you want, then? We want to visit the Pangala tribe to the north here. The Pangala? Yes. Mr. Stewart told us they'd never been photographed. We'd like to take some motion pictures of them. Oh, I see. Stewart told us they were one of the most primitive tribes in Africa, that they have strange ways and customs. We want to be the first to take some films of their life. I can understand your desire, baby. But the village of Pangala is several days through the jungle from here. It is a most difficult journey. We understand that, Jean, but uh, the Pangalas are not unfriendly, are they? They are very strange people. Neither friendly nor unfriendly. Perhaps unpredictable would be the best word to describe them. Then you've been to Pangala. Oh, we oui, I was there for two days about three years ago. How about it, Jean? Will you take us there? You do not wish to capture any animals? Just take motion picture of the Pangala? That's right. You see, Jean, next to animals, photography is our chief hobby. <laughs> you have come to me at the right time. I must confess I have been getting restless. Oh, perhaps a trip into the jungle is what I most need. Then you'll do it? Oui, it is agreed. When do you want to leave? Well, how about tomorrow? All right, tomorrow it is then. And in a few days, we will be in the land of living magic. Living magic? We, oui, you see, Pangala in the language of the bush means living magic. We return to Clyde Beatty in just a moment. Now back to Clyde Beatty's adventure, Jungle Medical. to wonder if there is such a place as Kangala. Four days through this jungle and we're still not there. <laughs> you must have patience, Harriet. Mm. We are very near Pangala now. That suits me. Brother, I used to think it got hot in Texas. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. <laughs> in Momo. Our native bearers. What's the matter? Well, they're looking up the trail. Someone is coming. Why, it's only a boy. I remember him. This is Kota, the chief's son. Pankal, Toretzi, Kota. Juana, I'm glad you come. Well, I wait for you. Well. He asked as if he knew we were coming, Jean. Is that possible? Oh, more than that, it is probable. These drums we hear last night uh, probably were passing the word along. How are you, Kota? Well, Juana, but my father big sick. My father dying, Juana. Your so father, the chief, is dying? What do you mean? My father much sick. Him die. You come, one. Well, of course. The chief is sick. What's wrong with him? He didn't say it. Jabato make big magic, but Mapato keeps sick. What's this Jabato he's talking about? Jabato is Bangala's name for witch doctor. Lead the way, Koka. We will hurry. Quickly, we made our way through the jungle trail, and in half an hour arrived at the village of Pangala. It was little more than a large clearing in the jungle, packed with small huts made of leaves and branches. Kota led us directly to his father's hut, which was somewhat larger than the rest. 
A band of sullen Pongalas watched our progress as we reached the doorway of the hut. Come, Juana. Mapado inside. All right. Touch your head. This opening is pretty low. Careful, honey. Oh, all right. That's the chapato over there by the sheep. That chant. Is that supposed to make him well? We. Oui, that is supposed to bring about magic cure. Such nonsense. These natives don't really believe that, do they? I know it seems unbelievable, but they do. What happened to the chief? Did Kota tell you? Yes, he was attacked by a leopard while hunting in the jungle. It happened three days ago. It looks from here as if he's unconscious. Oh, the poor man. We've got to help him. Please help Mapado. He thinks sick. Not let Mapado die. Don't worry, young fella. We won't let your father die. Let's have a look at him, Clyde. Oh, please, not just yet. But why not? We must wait for Jabato to finish his chant. We wouldn't dare to interfere. He's finished now, Buana. Alamba, Morado. White man, what do you do here? We friends, uh, Jabato. A friend to all Pangalas. Come see Pado. You go. Pado, big sick. Take much magic, make well. Stay friends. Mapado's house, fair house. They stay. Kando, Doloba, Kando. Good boy, Kota. I guess that'll hold him for a while. Come on, let's have a look at the chief. Hmm? <laughs> now it's... Good grief, look at that leg. Oh, God. Look at that long gash. Yeah, and it's deep, too. And unless I miss my guess, it's turned into blood poisoning. What could you expect after three days without proper treatment? A leopard scratch, your bite can be as poisonous as a rattlesnake. You, you help me, Pablo Buana? Sure, we'll help him, Kota. Now, you run along while I tend to it. Much good. My Pablo not die. Hey, hand me the medicine kit, please. All right. What do you intend to do, Clyde? We've got some sulfur drugs with us that were made just for this sort of thing. We'll have them in good shape in a couple of days. Here you are, dear. Thanks. Now, let me get... Hola, Pato! The Chapato. What we... you do? We take Pato's leg, put medicine on, make better. No, not do this. Chapato make better. Chapato got much big magic. White man magic. No good. Clyde, you've got to convince him we know what we're doing. Yeah, only this joke is going to take some convincing, I'm afraid. Look, pal, we're only trying to help. The chief may die unless we give him medicine. No, not give. Chapato make magic. Pato get well. But... But this is unbelievable. He's got to let us help. Hyatt, believe me, I want to help as much as you do. I was hoping the Jabato would let us do this, but if he will not permit it, we must not. You mean if we went ahead... If we went ahead against the Jabato's wishes, we might all be killed. It is within his power to order the others to destroy us. Only the chief could save us. And as you see, he is not conscious. Yeah, I see what you mean. White man, act wisely. Not give Pado medicine. Here, honey, pan your camera over this way. Get a shot of them making those flapjacks or whatever they are, huh? All right. Perhaps you would like to film some of the children practicing or throwing spears, no? Oh, I suppose we should, Jean, but I can't help thinking about the chief lying in that miserable hut dying. It is a shame. I was hoping he would be better today. It'd be a miracle if he recovered. All that mumbo-jumbo with the witch doctors isn't going to help him one bit. Juana! Juana! It's Kota. How can we face him? Juana, can you... Can you not help Mapado? We could if the Jabato would let us, Kota. Please. If Mapado could speak, he would want it so. Is the Jabato with him now, Kota? No, Mabuana. Jabato, leave. Let's go have another look at the poor fellow. Yes, Buana. Please, you come. Is he worse than yesterday, Clark? Yes, I'm afraid so. Jean, you know a lot about the ways the native tribes... What happens if the chief here dies? Who'd take over? Why, Kota would become chief then. But, of course, he's just a boy. The Jabato would actually be an authority until Kota goes up. Hmm. What is it? What are you thinking, Clyde? I'm thinking there may be a couple of reasons we haven't thought of for that jungle medical not wanting us to help the chief here. If the chief dies, the witch doctor would be in control of the tribe, even though Kota would become chief in name. That must be it. 
The Jabata knows the chief will die. He doesn't want him to get well. And the chances are ten to one he'd find some way of getting rid of Kota before very long, too. Clyde, we can't let it happen that way. But we are powerless to prevent it. Powerless, my foot. Harriet, do you have that medical kit with you? Yes, I kept it here in my bag. Do you realize what may happen to us if the Jabata discovers? I know the danger involved, Jean, but I can't stand by and see a man die this way. What can I do? Pray, honey. Pray that we're not too late to save the chief's life. Clyde Beatty will return in just a moment. And now, back to Clyde Beatty and Jungle Medico. Clyde and Harriet Beatty, with her guide, were deep in the jungle of French Equatorial Africa, where they intended to photograph the natives of the remote Pangala tribe. When they arrived, they found the chief of the Pangalas dying from blood poisoning. But when they offered to help, they were warned against interfering by the Jabato, the native witch doctor. The following day, however, Clyde can stand it no longer and decides to give the chief some medical attention in spite of the witch doctor's warning. Soak some more of that cotton in alcohol, honey. All right, God. I wish now we'd gone ahead with this yesterday. In bad shape. Here's the cotton. Thanks, honey. Clyde, look. His eyes, they are open. He's regaining consciousness. Quickly, Harriet. Get out that package of sulfur pills. We've got to get some down him right away. Kota. Kota. Kota, come over here. Yes, Juana. He's waking up, Kota. Tell him we're trying to help him. Yes, Juana. Rapado. Chova on the buka. Moretze Kalonga Bula Makalo. Tora Kadu Potanda Luka. He say he give much thanks, Buana. Here are the pills and water, Tom. Good. Jean, hold his head up. We. There. Here you go, Chief. Open your mouth and take these pills. Mapado. Kobi Dakuro. That's it. Now, now drink the water. All of it. Clyde, should he have that many pills at one time? He's too far gone to try a normal dosage. Mm. Our only hope is to double up on them. All right, Gene, get his head down now. Mm. Kota, back to door. Watch for Jabato. Yes, Juana. If Jabato comes around today at the same time he did yesterday, we'll be all right. That was about 4 o'clock. Right. At about 3.30, I'll give the chief some more pills. And when the Jabato comes, he won't know what we've been doing. I don't think so. By the same, it might work up that. I wonder what kind of a dance this is supposed to be. It is the dance of death, Harriet. Death? We. Oui. It is a ritual which the Pangalas perform when someone of importance is dying. Their chief's dying and they dance, huh? That's a nice custom. It is another one of the Jabato superstitions. He has convinced the others that the dance of death will drive the evil spirits to the grave with their chief if he dies. And if he lives, they will believe it is because of the Jabato's big magic. I see. Either way, the witch doctor can't lose. Exactly. Well, it's time we got back and looked after the chief again. Yes, it is. We'd better do it now while the Jabato's still busy here. We'll just have time to give him some more pills. Hold his head just a little higher, Jean. That's it. All right, old timer. Take these now. Do you think he's any better, Clark? I can't tell yet, honey. You should know in a few hours, though. Okay, Jean, put him down now. Here, here are the cotton swabs. Thanks. Maybe you'd better get me some of those. It's the Jabato. Yeah, see him. Yeah, I was afraid of this. Jabato, see. White man do bad magic. Look, we're only trying to save his life. We use good magic. Jabato warn you not to make magic. You must keep coming. Jean, what are you doing? He's calling some of the natives. I am afraid we are in a bad spot now. Can you tell what's going on outside, Jean? Yes. The Jabato is getting the others all worked up over what he considers our interference. These ropes are on my wrist. They're awfully tight. I'm sorry I got you two into this. It's no fun being tied up this way. Listen, listen. What is he saying? 
He is telling them that the chief would be well if we had not tried our magic. He says the chief, he will die, and it is our fault. And they believe that, too? Unfortunately, yes. Hmm. Sounds like the power is over. He's coming in. Hello, Dragando Roca. My people decide you try kill Pardo. That is not true, Jabato. We try help Pardo. Madonzi, you try kill. No use arguing with him, I guess. My people say you must die. No, no, Jabato. You die with fear to heart when dark comes. Listen to me. These two not to blame, Jabato. I am the one who tried magic on Chief. Only me to blame, understand? You let them go. Ogala! All must die. All die when dark comes. Oh, Clyde, what are we going to do? Steady, Harriet. Jean, how long before it'll be dark? Perhaps two hours? We've got to try to get loose. Oh, it is of no use, Betty. We could not hope to get away. There's always a chance. Somehow, the idea of a spear through the heart isn't too appealing. Oh, it's no use, Clyde. I don't think they're a bit loose. Oh, I'm afraid you're right. My fingers are so numb now, I can't even feel those ropes anymore. Oh, I cannot work free either. Uh, we may as well forget about breaking loose. Oh, it is dark outside now. Clyde. I'm sorry, honey. I should have minded my own business and left the chief to the witch doctor. They, they are coming for us. Yeah, right on time, aren't they? It's time you die. Bring outside. Para Soroto. The three of us were tied to posts. A large fire of sticks and logs directly in front of us cast a flickering yellow light over the scene. Then three of the Pangalas, armed with spears, stepped forward at a signal from the witch doctor. The low down such a thing. Look at this. 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 Look at these people go. They try to kill you, Pardo. They must die. You turn loose. They friend. Oh, thank goodness. They have much big magic. They not let me die. They not die. Turn loose. Sarada Duranga. We let them go. <laughs> Kota, wish you not go. Wish you stay Pangala. <laughs> Thanks, Kota. But we've got to be on our way. Mapato almost well now. Not die now? No, he's going to be good as new in a few days. But don't forget my instructions, will you? Not forget. Kota have big magic now. Oh, what instructions do you mean, Clyde? Harriet, you are looking at the youngest doctor in Africa. I hope you don't mean Kota's going to be a witch doctor. Oh, no. He's well on his way to being a real doctor. Oh. Ask him what he's going to do, Harriet. Oh, uh, tell me, Kota, what are you going to do? I keep giving Mapado two pills each time before he eats and two more before he goes sleep. Me, Dr. Kota. <laughs> <laughs> And now, here is the star of our show, Clyde Beatty. Being able to save the life of the Pongala chief was the best part of this adventure. The next time we meet, I'll have another thrilling story to tell you. 